السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ہوپ ایوری ون آف یو از فائن اسٹوڈنٹس ایز یو نو دیٹ وی ہیو کور مینی لیکچرس آلموسٹ آل دی کنٹینٹس آر کورڈ نو ان دس لیکچر وی ول ہیو این اوور ویو اباؤٹ دی فش باڈی سسٹم دی آل انٹرنل سسٹم آف اے فش باڈی ان اے کمپیکٹ لیکچر اینڈ ہاؤ the system are performed and where it is present in the body of the fish this lecture will also help to understand the anatomy of the bony fish which is the second practical of our content this picture show the internal anatomy of a bony fish having the brain esophagus dorsal aorta stomach air bladder spinal cord kidney urinary orifice genital orifice anus gonad intestine pyloric cecum gall bladder liver heart gills tooth eye and olfactory bulb these all are the parts of the fish body which is mentioned in this picture so let's start with some external parts and then the system of the fish this picture having an other overview of the fish you can see the dorsal fin spinal cord caudal peduncle adipose fin anal fin lateral line urinary bladder adipose tissues spleen heart pectoral girdle ventral aorta dentary premaxilla etc these two pictures are the compact pictures having a basic information about the structure of the fish the system we will study in this lecture are the skeletal system muscular system respiratory system digestive system circulatory system nervous system reproductive system and special organs of the fish the skeletal system of most fish consists mainly of skull backbone ribs fin rays spores for fin rays or fin so what is skull and why it is used for skull consists chiefly of the brain case and spores for the mouth and gill the next is the backbone backbone is the central framework for the trunk and tail it consists of many separate segments of bone or cartilage and these segments are known as vertebrae in bony fish each vertebrae has a spine at the top and each tail vertebrae also has a spine at the bottom ribs are attached to the vertebrae of the fish Now we discuss about the fins which is also known as the spores for fin rays. Pectoral fins of most fish are attached to the back of the skull by a structure called a pectoral girdle. Pelvic fins are supported by a structure called a pelvic girdle which is attached to the pectoral girdle or supported by a muscular tissue. in the abdomen dorsal fins are supported by structures of bone or cartilage which are rooted in tissue above the backbone caudal fin is supported by the tail of the fish the anal fin by structure of bone or cartilage below the backbone 
the muscular system having three type of muscles skeletal muscles smooth muscles and hard muscles so firstly we will discuss about the skeletal muscles of the fish a fish use their skeletal muscles to move their bone and fin a fish's flesh consists almost entirely of skeletal muscles they are arranged one behind the other in broad vertical bands which are called myomeres the myomeres can easily be seen in a skinned fish each myomere is controlled by a separate nerve as a result a fish can bend the front part of its body in one direction while bending its tail in the opposite direction most fish make such movements with their bodies to swim a fish smooth muscle work automatically the smooth muscles are responsible for operating such internal organs as the stomach and the intestine the third is the respiratory system uh, the organ of the respiratory system includes the gills most fish have four pairs of gills enclosed in a gill chamber on each side of the head each gill consists of two rows of fleshy filaments attached to a gill arc how the respiratory system works and how do a fish breathe fish gulp water through the mouth and pump it over the gill the breathing process begins when the gill cover closes and mouth opens at the same time the walls of the mouth expand outward drawing water into the mouth the walls of the mouth then move inward the mouth closes and the gill covers open this action forces the water from the mouth into the gill chamber in each chamber the water passes over the gill filaments they absorb oxygen from the water and replace it with carbon dioxide formed during the breathing process the water then passes out through the gill opening and the process is repeated the next is the digestive system this diagram of the fish digestive system having the organs including swim bladder testes kidney urinary bladder vas deferens ventral body wall intestine what does the digestive system do the digestive system changes food into the materials that nourish the body cells it also eliminate materials that are not used in the body organ of the digestive system included jaw mouth with a tongue and teeth pharynx esophagus stomach the jaw mouth with a tongue and teeth the fish can not move its tongue and fish have their teeth rooted in the jaws second is the pharynx it is a short tube behind the mouth esophagus is a tube like organ and it expand easily which allows the fish to swallow its food whole the other organs including the digestive system is the liver gall bladder pyloric cecum intestine and anus liver is a bile producing digestive gland gall bladder is a small sac containing the bile pyloric cecum related to the intestine where a part of digestion mainly occurs as well as fermentation is also occur in the pyloric cecum and then intestine and anus anus for the removal of the waste from the body 
How do the digestion work in the fish? Fish use their teeth to seize prey or to tear off pieces of their victim's flesh. Most fish also have teeth in the pharynx, which they use to crush or grind the food. Food passes through the pharynx on the way to the esophagus. From the esophagus, food passes into the stomach where it is partially digested. The digestive system is completed in the intestine. The digested food enters the blood stream and the waste products are undigested food pass out through the anus. The next is the circulatory system. This is a diagram of the heart of the fish which is participate in the function of the circulation. The circulatory system distributes blood to all parts of the body. The organs of the circulatory system included the heart, blood vessels, arteries, kidneys and spleen. Heart consists of two main chambers, the atrium and the ventricle. While the function of spleen is to remove impurities in the blood, And how does this blood circulate in a fish? Blood flows through veins to the atrium, then passes to the ventricle. Muscles in the ventricle pump the blood through arteries to the gills. In the gills, here the blood receives oxygen and gives off carbon dioxide. Arteries then carry the blood throughout the body carrying food and oxygen to cells and waste away from the cells. Kidneys remove the waste products from the blood which returns to the heart through the veins. Now the nervous system. Organ of the nervous system include the spinal cord, brain, nerves. Spinal cord consists of soft nerve tissues. It runs from the brain through the backbone. The brain is the enlargement of spinal cord and it is enclosed in the skull. Nerves extend from the brain and spinal cord to every part of the body. How does the nervous system work? There are two types of nerves, sensory nerves and motor nerves. Sensory nerves carry messages from the sense organs to the spinal cord and brain. Motor nerves carry messages from the brain and spinal cord to the muscles. The reproductive system. Most fish release their sex cells into the water through an opening near the anus. The males of some species have special structures for transferring sperm directly into the females. Male sharks, for example, have such a structure called a clasper on each pelvic fin. The claspers are used to insert sperm into the female's body. Organs of the reproductive system The male reproductive system included the testes while the female uh, reproductive system including the ovaries. The testes produce male sex cells or sperm while the ovaries produce female sex cells or eggs and it is also called row or spawn. The special organ of the fish is the swim bladder. It is present below the backbone. It is a bag-like organ known as the air bladder. It provides buoyancy which enables the fish to remain at a particular depth in the water. 
Fish gain buoyancy by inflating their swim bladder with gases produced by their blood. The nervous system automatically regulates the amount of gas in the bladder so that it is kept properly filled. The other functions are the light producing and electricity producing. Many deep sea fish have light producing organs developed from part of their skin or digestive tract. Some species use these organs to attract prey or possibly to communicate with others of their fish species. Electricity producing organs developed from muscles in their eyes, gills or trunk. Some species use these organs to stun or kill enemies or prey.